This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So guys, in this session, I'm going to cover a very important topic called automatic payment program. Generally, uh, if you talk about this topic, guys, uh, then if you go for interview, there are lots of questions are going to be asked from this topic and uh, you should have a very good understanding of this topic, guys. So first of all, you try to understand like what is this APP and how does it work? And multiple things are there, guys, in APP like uh, if uh, somebody started teaching honestly, it may take too much time. But as a beginner, first of all, uh, you should know what is this APP all about, how to configure, how does it you know works, and also these all things I'm going to explain here in this session. Now, so what is this automatic payment program, guys? That so look at here in the PPT. Okay, so now here, if you talk about APP automatic payment program it is used to post account payables like payment to the vendor based on the vendor invoices automatically okay now I'll tell you and it is used to find out due and overdue invoices and process the list of customer even like sorry vendor and customer invoices to make payment in one go generally what is happening with the help of automatic payment program even we can process customer invoices also guys but in most of the cases, it is going to be used to process vendors invoices only. And that is why it is the part of people everywhere. People are going to keep APP as a, as a part of account payable. Why? Because with the help of APP, people are going to process vendor invoices. Now, the question is how? How the payment is going to be processed, uh, you know, processed and all. So that these all things I'm going to explain in details. Don't worry. Now, here, uh, I think I have some doubt about this networks and all might be some fluctuations is there. So if you found like because the recording during recording, I don't know like whether it is happening in proper way or not. So if you found somewhere like uh, if there is any kind of like uh, voice related issues and all you can put your comment. Uh, then I'll uh, again try to record a separate uh, lecture and we'll replace this. OK, so anyway, you guys can uh, put your message also and uh, even you can give your feedback also about this entire, uh, you know, the way I have taught, like how much you guys are able to understand how uh, good it is for like your learning and all. So these things you can put to your comments. So now here, okay. And guys, one more thing. If like there is a, might be some lag or something a few seconds only. So for that, uh, please do not uh, what to say comment to replace mm -hmm. the video because few seconds miss nothing uh, is going to be missed out. If it is for like continuously one minute or two minutes somewhere some lag is there or gap is there or any like uh, let's suppose uh, I the cursor is keep on moving but voice is not coming right. In that case, you can go to your comments and uh, we'll. Anyway, every now and then, like uh, I'll keep on updating uh, the things, guys. Okay, so nothing uh, to be worried about here. Now, so let me explain uh, about this uh, automatic payment program first. Say, for example, so uh, we are having a vendor, a particular vendor. Let's suppose any vendor X, Y, Z Limited. This is the vendor. Against this vendor, against this vendor, I have posted multiple invoices. Right, I posted multiple invoices. Say, for example, any amount, any amount can be okay. Whenever I am giving here the amount, guys, I am not specifying the currency. Why? Because currency could be anything. It it could be anything. It could be like uh, USD. It could be INR. It depends upon like if you have set up your company code. What is the currency which you are going to use? Right, euros, RMB. Or whichever country you belong to, it doesn't matter. In your local currency, you can create your company code and you can proceed. The same configurations will be there, guys, throughout the world, wherever you are. Uh, you know, like you are from uh, any part of the whether it, you are from African con continent, European continent, Asian continent, or is like from South America, North America, wherever you are, right? Or even uh, Sonia also. Sonia, I mean to say, like Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, uh, these all countries. Now, so here. Okay, so these all are different different invoices, right? Invoice number one, two, like that. So I will just 
let me explain this try to understand this clearly uh, guys because first of all if you're having understanding then only let's suppose this is called invoice number or so called document number right we will talk about document number not invoice number this is document number so now here uh, okay so document number document number one two three five four five like in real time generally it will it won't be like in one digit guys in real time it will be in ten digit but just to make you people understand i have given a small this one document number one two three invoice number one two three four you can say like that okay so say for example now this invoices okay for this vendor if we are going to follow 30 days 30 days in the sense like we had like if you talk about terms of payment right so whatever these invoices are there that is going to be due after certain days right so here let's suppose with this vendor there is a contract that the payment is going to be processed after 30 days after 30 days from which date guys document date posting date entry date whatever it is so here it is going to be let's suppose uh so let's suppose posting date posting date so now here we'll give a posting date here 15 07 likewise we can have multiple posting it guys let's suppose 17 2020 this is like 10 2020 here it is like let's suppose 25 2020 this is 01 08 2020 right so multiple dates will be there i'm just going to give different different date. now here uh, say for example it is going to be so okay so we'll do one thing 21 07 2020 okay and here again 26 07 2020 zero five zero eight two thousand twenty zero eight zero eight zero eight two thousand twenty right and here let's suppose fifteen zero eight two thousand twenty and it is going to be let's suppose eighteen zero eight two thousand twenty okay now so as of now today is twenty eight zero eight two thousand twenty this is today's date okay so now what is happening this is today's date right now here so guys these are the dates this is called posting date now what we have to do so if you talk about like uh, due date if you talk about due date why i'm explaining these things guys that i'll let you know but first of all because if you understand this one then you will be able to understand the functionality of automatic payment program that is why i'm quoting this example okay and this is a very interesting calculations also guys you can also check your knowledge here so now here due date so due date means what guys if the terms of payment terms of payment whichever is there with the terms of payment what we have agreed with the vendor guys the payment is made in 30 days it means here what is happening whatever the posting date is there in that we have to add 30 days 30 days 30 days right posting date plus 30 days posting date plus 30 days right this is what this is what it means like we we might we have defined a terms of payment that is going to be assigned against vendor master and based on that what is happening guys due date calculation is going to happen automatically so now you try to calculate the due date manually guys so here now 15th 07 i told you guys july will be like of 31 days so 15th 07 so it is going to be due on which date guys if it is 30 days july will be if, if july is of 30 days then in that case what is happening guys it is going to be due on 15th 08 2020 but since july is of 31 days 
so pretty simple guys you just minus one it means this is going to be due on 14 likewise this is going to be due on which date guys this is going to be due on let's suppose 17 sorry not 17th it is going to be due on 16th they are going to be due on on which date guys it is going to be due on 09 right and uh, Again, this is going to be due on 25th 07. So this is going to be due on uh, 24 0, 24 08, and 1 and uh, 08. It means this is going to be due on which date, guys? 38 of right? 38th or 31st? So 31st, right? It is going to be due on 31st of uh, because that 01 08 and plus 30 right so this is the due date here it is 21st so this is going to be due on 28 08 2020 right and 2607 means it is going to be due on 25th 07 2020 not 07 guys it is 08 hope you guys are calculating along with me so now this 0508 so even august is also of 31 days itself so it is going to be on 0409 2020 right and 0808 means this is going to be on 0709 2020 okay 1508 means 1409 2020 okay and then 1808 means what is happening so this is going to be due on 17th 0 uh, 9 2020 okay now, so here these are the due date okay we'll check the status now so what will be the status status of invoices status means what i'll tell you status means whether it is due or overdue or not due these three the, the entire invoice is going to be segregated in due overdue or not due so look at here guys so how you are going to calculate whether it is due overdue or not due so today is 28th so if the invoice due date is already crossed this date sorry if like let's suppose so today is 28th right so look at here now 28th so and this invoice become due on 14th it means already the due date is already crossed it is 20 28th right and invoice become due on 14th so this is overdue sorry i have to give here here this is overdue this is overdue right and that will it become overdue by a margin of six days 16th so this is also before 28th this is also overdue 908 this is also overdue itself guys because we are in 28 today and it is 9 24th so today is 20 28th guys and it is 24th means yet to come so that is not due still it is not due right 31st this is also not due because today is 28th itself and it is going to be due on 31st so that is yet to come 28th 08 and today is also the same date it means it become due today so that is going to be treated as a due and tomorrow in tomorrow date what is happening guys tomorrow is going to be 21st so this invoice is going to be treated as overdue why because already we have crossed the due date right hope it is like see in the simplest way i'm explaining guys so don't uh, what to say worry and this is again i'm talking about like this this is a simple calculation guys it has nothing to do with your accounting or finance skill okay now here 2508 this is also not due and here zero four so this is also not due not due and this is also not due so whichever ninth month is there like these all are not due right so this is due this is overdue now so if you talk about the payment 
let's suppose so look at here guys for one vendor these many invoices and more than this invoices guys not only one a few vendors sorry few invoices guys might be 50 60 70 open items are there these all are called open item once the payment is going to be made once the payment is going to be posted then those invoices is going to be cleared automatically and that is going to be part of cleared item right we have to have a look on the open item itself because these are the open invoices it means invoice got posted the, but the payment is not uh, you know made yet now so these all invoices are open item it means we have purchased the raw material goods or services from vendor but the payment is not made yet now so out of these many invoices how many invoices are eligible for the payment right so say for example today i'm going to release let's suppose there is a rule like every week on every monday or every tuesday or every friday the payment is going to be released to the vendors okay so today we are going to post the payment so in that case what do you have to guys whatever due and overdue invoices are there those invoices is going to be considered for payment so in that case look at here guys these invoice and then we are having this due item right is there anything else like your remaining is not okay so remaining invoices are not <coughs> eligible for payment it means we have to release payment we have to post payment of these four invoices only right why because we have done the analysis we just we started checking the due dates and what we found that these these invoices become overdue and this one is due so now we are going to post the payment so now there is one more thing so here if this is the case of one vendor now let's suppose 10000 vendors are there 15000 vendors are there or 5000 vendors are there so do you think that manually if we are going to if manually if we started checking the due dates and based on that like or is checking the status which one is overdue which one is due which one is not due right based on that if we started using the payments at all so first of all against every vendor like 50 60 70 100 open items will be there so one by one if you are going to have a look that okay out of which how many become how many are due and how many are overdue for every vendor it is going to take half an hour or, or 20 minutes to to select the line items that okay these are the items which is overdue these are the items which is eligible for payment In that case it's going to take too much time manually if you started releasing uh, you know posting payment one by one so a vendor wise in that case what is happening guys it's going to take too much time right so now what is happening if it is a small organizations very limited number of uh, number of vendors will be there might be 400 500 600 from every vendors we are having four five six seven invoices every month we are going to get or might be 10 invoices so for that what is happening manually we can check every vendor we can check the vendor wise we can check the balances one by one and we can see like how many invoices become overdue and that is going to be paid right so this is how it is going to happen but for big organizations guys thousands of vendors are there several thousand vendors are there right and for every vendor it is not possible to check manually and we cannot check a status manually that what which one is overdue which one is due and which one is not due because like that if we are going to decide then it's going to take too much time and lots of resources are required right so now in order to okay so in order to cope with such kind of situation sap has given us a program that is called automatic payment program automatic payment program okay sap has given i am just type in shortcut it is called automatic payment program okay automatic payment program in short form it is called app in short form it is called app okay i'll just do one thing 
this is what <coughs> app so what will happen guys see for example for a single vendor itself if we are going to check one by one and let's suppose 100 open items are there still it is going to take four five minutes first of all five minutes it will take to find out how many overdue items are there how many due items are there then you have to check out the document number also you have to find out the number like okay one two three and six so these are the documents these are the invoices which become overdue or or due item so you have to note it down manually and then we are going to post the payment so it may take uh, not only five minutes guys in the selections only it is going to take five minutes so all together 15 20 minutes it will take for a single vendor if you're going to post the payment at all right so now we are having this setting called automatic payment program what is the use of this automatic payment program guys so if you are going to run app okay app means we can run for uh, uh, multiple vendors generally at a time or even you can run for all vendors at a time so if you are going to run app automatic payment program then what is happening is then no need to post the payment manually system if you run this app automatically system is going to check in background how many invoices are overdue and due so whichever overdue and due invoices are there guys this is going to be selected by system automatically and within few seconds it will not take five minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes within few seconds so fast it is it is going to select all these invoices and then what will happen guys then once you execute the payment in the sense once we are having certain functionality so with the help of app first of all it is going to check which it is going to check how many invoices are overdue and due and then the payment is going to be posted automatically with the help of app this is what they use right that is what i have specified here automatic payment program it is used to post the account payable like vendor invoices right like payment to the vendor based on the vendor invoices automatically right and it is used to find out due and overdue invoices now you guys will be able to understand look at here how it is going to find out it is going to find out due and overdue invoices right and process a list of vendor okay forget about the customer right now guys uh, we'll talk about the vendor itself so it process the list of vendor vendor what vendor invoices to make payment in one go one go means let's suppose so this is the story of xyz limited likewise hundreds of such kind of limited will be there guys right abc limited a limited b limited c limited i'm just quoting an example that name will be the vendor name will be different different name will be there it's okay so now now what is happening guys so this is what this is what generally okay so now here so this is what the use of automatic payment program guys with the help of app what is happening with the help of app we are going to post the payment of multiple invoices in one go okay multiple invoices in one go and not only for single vendor guys even multiple vendor multiple vendors will be there multiple vendors we can run app against a several vendors at a time so look at here how easy it is uh, manually if we are going to post the invoices it is going to take too much time and lots of resources required but a single resource will be for invoice posting there is no such such kind of what is a opportunity guys invoice posting they have to do the manually only because invoices we are going to receive either in soft copy hard copy so user has to check the invoices and all and then it is going to be posted in case of soft copy what is happening guys whatever the fields are there so there are some field capturing tools will be there field capturing tool will be there okay so <coughs> So with the help of field capturing tool what is happening guys you need not to type each and everything manually system you can copy this the, those things you are going to copy and uh, you can so this is how the invoice can be posted easily right but but here what is happening guys uh, but in app we are having this functionality automatically the entire system is going to check whatever the invoices 
are there whatever overdue invoices are there is going to be selected whatever new invoices are there that is going to be selected and system is going to process the payment and in one go itself we are it, it means uh, the payment is going to be posted right so but in app multiple things are there if we can figure there are several things right i'll try again first of all i have to explain this this like what is this app all about we'll do some configurations here and we'll perform the testing guys even uh, we'll try to explain in the easiest way okay later i'll uh, record again a separate tutorial because lots of things are there but in order to understand those things first of all you need to have a proper understanding about this app and even like uh, of this entire finance module you should have a you know at least the foundation supposed to be strong right foundation supposed to be strong i mean to say like your basic supposed to be strong then only the later on if somebody is going to explain advanced things or if i'm going to record that videos for the advanced level and all then you guys will be able to understand right and if, of course i'm in the plan of recording all those things one by one guys this is going to be recorded so it's going to be very helpful uh, for your upcoming career right see i'll tell you guys uh, if you have like uh, in the previous session also multiple time i have repeated same again i'm going to repeat the same thing that a perfect understanding only is going to help you to crack the interview and even it is going to help you to survive also right if you mug up certain question and answers there are lots of people uh, who you know message me because my channel is there on youtube they are going to get the number or like they're going to get the email id and all they are going to message i need accounting what is this, sorry uh, interview question and answer right mm -hmm. uh, even if you get the interview question and answer is also let's suppose if you clear the interview what will happen after that what next people would like to see the performance right performance can be given only if you're having perfect knowledge without knowledge performance cannot be given right so always try to understand the concepts so here this is what the use of automatic payment program okay this is what the use of automatic payment program it means automatically system is going to find out the due and overdue invoices and the payment is going to be processed automatically in the sense payment is going to be posted automatically and not only for single vendor guys for multiple vendors we can run this automatic payment program so now in next session i'm going to show you how to configure it the you know configuration part and then again testing part one by one we are going to happen so that's all in this session guys